What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Huggy Sadie from Poppy Playtime. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top, come all the way around towards the bottom of that circle, and then back up towards the top. Let's leave a small gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we'll start by lining up the top of that circle. We're gonna bring that in and then down and back up towards the top. Now I want to turn the left eye into a button. So let's trace the circle along the inside. So we'll start from the very top. Just leave an even space gap all the way around. And then we'll add four buttonholes. Let's start right at the very top of the middle. Start with one black dot. Step down, draw another one. Now we'll add two more. One on the left and one on the right. Now on the right side, we're gonna push the pupil towards the top right side. So we're gonna draw a smaller circle, starting from the very top, come all the way around, and then back up. Let's add a small black dot in the center, and we'll fill the outside of the pupil in black. Now with the eyes in place, let's draw the outside edge of the mouth. We're going to start in between the eyes with a curve. We're going to go up the middle and then back down. Let's go to the outside of the eyes, bend the mouth going up, round out the mouth, and then come down. Let's go back to the left side, draw the bottom of the mouth coming all the way down towards the bottom, and then in towards the middle, Just round out the mouth, and then bring that back up on the right. Let's trace this curve along the bottom. We're gonna start from the corner of the mouth, come down underneath the eye, up in the middle, come down underneath the right eye, and then back up. From the corners of the mouth, let's step in, trace the bottom edge. Come down, and then bring that back up. Now we want to draw the top row of teeth. We're going to leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, come down, and then up. Move over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's add a few more teeth on either side. Let's add the bottom row of teeth. Starting in the middle, go up toward the left, then down. Add one on the right. Let's add a couple more on either side. Now we're gonna go in and fill the inside of the mouth in black, going around the teeth. Now starting along the bottom, we're going to work our way up towards the top of the head. Let's start on the left side of the lip, bend this out, and then up. Let's line this up on the right, and we're just adding a small point on the end. Let's pull this back down, and then in with a short line. Let's go back to the left side, add another curve going out, and then we'll bend that up. And then again, just adding another point, coming down and in. Let's add one more curve going up toward the top of the head. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve coming down in the middle. So let's start on the left. We're gonna come down, round up the head, and then bend that back up. 
Let's add a stitch line coming down the center of the head. Starting right at the very top, then it's out towards the right, and then back in. And we'll add some stitch lines going across. Now let's move down and draw on that bow. We're going to start right in the middle, start with the left side, and come down, go out, and just bend that back in underneath the head. Go back to the center, and do the same thing on the right. Let's trace this bow along the inside. And then we'll draw the bottom of the ribbon. Starting in the center, then it's out toward the left and down. Same thing on the right. And along the bottom, draw a short angled line going up and out. And we'll follow this curve going back up underneath the bow. Now let's draw on the side of the body. From the outside edge of the bow, let's step out, curve the body line out, down. Now we're just going to bend that in towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right. Going out, down, and then in. From the hips, we're going to move to the center, step down and add a curve. Going up, and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center. Go to the left side, bend the leg. Going out, and then in. Go to the right the same thing. Let's round up the heel and let's pull that back out. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left side, bend the foot, coming down and then up. From the outside, I'm going to curve the top of the foot, going up. Now let's bend that down towards the heel. Let's separate the toes with two curves on either side, coming up and in. Step in, draw that again. Now let's go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. From the left hip, let's step out, bend the leg, going out, and then in, just on top of the foot. And then we'll add a fold around the ankles. Let's step out. Then it's out and then down on top of the feet. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw the arm stretched out towards the side. From the top of the body, let's step up underneath the head, then the arm coming down, and then out towards the wrist. Go to the right, come down, and then out. Let's draw in the thumbs. From the wrist, we're going to go up, come all the way around, and then just hook that in. Now from the bottom of the thumb, let's step up, then the hand, and then down, around, and then up. From the inside of the hand, let's step down, just taper the arm so it gets narrower as it comes back up underneath the body. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Let's separate the wrist with some fur. Starting from the base of the thumb, then it's in and down. Go out. Pull that back in. And just bend that out in behind the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. In. Add another point going in towards the hand. And just tuck that up in behind. Now in the center of the hand, we're going to add a fold across the palm. Going around and then in. Now with the body complete, let's layer those four mechanical arms in behind. We're going to start from the top of the shoulder, start with a curve going up and down. I'm just going to bend that up along the side. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start from the top of the arm, go up, down, and we'll bend that back up. Let's add a set of arms along the bottom. Start from the inside of the arm, come down, across, and then down. Now with the top arm, I'm just going to flatten this off with a straight line. And it will trace this curve coming back in behind the body.
Let's do the same thing along the bottom. Starting on the left, come down and in with an angled line. And I'll just trace this back in. Let's add a texture inside the arms. Starting from the top, we're going to step down. We're going to draw these angled lines, working our way back in towards the body. Now, as we work around that curve, we're just going to angle these lines going up. Just trying to keep a right angle across the arm. Let's move over and do the same thing on the right. Now on the end of each arm, we're going to add the calipers. From these two points, we're going to angle this up and in toward the center to create a point. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up toward the top. Now the bottom ones, we're just going to angle this down and out. And then we'll add the side calipers. From the corners, angle this up and out. Up and in. Now, from the tip, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming down about halfway along this bottom line. So coming down and just tuck that in behind. Do the same thing on the inside. Now we repeat the step across each arm. Coming down towards that halfway point, and then just tucking that in. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Huggy Sadie. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, then please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then click on this video right here and I'll see you in the next one.